Hey guys, Lysandra Everett here, and I want to shoot this quick video to show you how to add a customized button on uh, on a web form. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through the process now. To prepare for this, you need a button image. For instance, I'm using. Will that show it? No. Oh yeah, it does. I'm using this as my custom image here. Um, so I already have that uploaded onto my WordPress blog and you can also use your Empower Network blog. This is just happens to be where I have this image uploaded. Um, and that's it. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is create a web form and I'm not going to go through and do a lot of this stuff just because I want to show you how to do this I'm not trying to create a new web form right now um, but just as a demonstration so the first thing you want to do is you know you choose your form and template um, if you are creating your own custom um, your own custom capture page you can delete this stuff To where you'll only have you know just a name and email field is really what you'll need uh, and what you want to do is you really want to stretch this out a little bit all right so what you want to do here is go to the form type and then you want to go to the submit button then there is this tab over here the advanced tab you want to click that drop down and it'll ask you for a button image okay so that's where you go back to where you have it hosted to get the file URL you want to copy that and you want to paste it here okay and then you want to save it and there you have it you can preview it up here if you want to see how that looks and like you see here where it's a little off so you really want to um, to stretch it stretch your web form to where it looks more centered okay so you know then you save your web form and then you go on to um, oh an another thing that you can do is you really want to try and take some of this color away and let me see if I can find where that is. Hold on. Close that tab. It used to be right here. Well, that's neither here nor there at this point, but um, but you can actually get rid of this background if you want. Um, but the important part is, you know, if you want to use this custom stuff, this is how you add a custom button to a web form so that when you create your custom uh, capture page and you want a, a, a different button, you want a nice button, then this is the way you do it. So you, you know, go on to name your form and all that stuff. And after that, you're done. So I hope this is helpful for you. Leave me a comment and always subscribe. And this is Lysandra Everett signing off, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.